Every year, an average of 360,000 fires devastate homes in the U.S. Nearly half of these fires start in the kitchen. Fire prevention measures can ensure the safety of your home, your loved ones, and your community. The frequency of house fires spikes in fall and winter, with the highest number occurring in the months of December and January. By learning the following fire safety guidelines, you can prevent unfortunate accidents from disrupting time with your loved ones this season. Candle lighting is an important symbol for many holidays and festivities. While they certainly brighten up the room during any celebration, they can also pose a serious hazard if left unattended. Before lighting your candles, trim the wick down to one quarter inch to avoid sparks or unruly flames. Set the candle on a stable surface out of reach of children, pets, purses, and elbows that may accidentally knock it over. Candles should be put out after a maximum of four hours and left to cool for at least another two hours before being lit again. Use a candle snuffer to fully extinguish the flame and never keep a candle burning after you leave a room. When plugging in our electric lights, we often unknowingly test the limits of our outlets and extension cords. Whether you decorate for the holidays or not, take this time of year as a reminder to inspect your cords and outlets. If you discover frayed or exposed wires, consider replacing them unless they can be properly repaired. Check for loose plugs and fix them right away. To avoid causing further damage, make sure not to overload outlets, extension cords, or surge protectors, as these can cause the plugs to loosen or overheat. Heating appliances, like space heaters, should be turned off at all times when not in use. Generally, they should be treated the same as candles and turned off before leaving the room or house. Keep them at least three feet away from flammable items, such as blankets, to prevent the material from catching fire. In spite of the temptation to keep the space heater running to warm the room as you sleep, it is not recommended to use any heating appliance overnight, as it cannot be monitored for overheating. One of the most universal associations with fall and winter holidays is food of all kinds. Whether for holiday outings, friendsgiving, or simply seasonal baking, this time of year is filled with food-centered traditions. As nearly 50% of all house fires are started while cooking, it is vital that we be mindful of kitchen fire safety and ensure that our gatherings remain joyful and festive. As a rule, the stove should never be left turned on unmonitored. If you need to leave the room, turn off the stove or ask someone to watch it for you. Clean your cooking area as you go, removing flammable items like dish towels or recipe cards to avoid an accident. Pot and pan handles should always be turned to the back of the stove out of reach of children. Avoid wearing loose and flowy clothing while cooking as these can quickly catch fire even when caution is used. Make sure the oven and stove are clean and free of grease as this buildup can ignite under high heat conditions. Use an outlet and never an extension cord for cooking appliances. These appliances require high voltage and plugging them into an extension cord can cause sparking and overheating. In the case of a small kitchen fire, there are a few precautions and steps to take. If you have a grease fire, Never try to put it out with water, as this can cause the fire to worsen and boiling grease and water to splash, inflicting severe burns. If you can do so safely, cover the fire with a lid or a cookie sheet while wearing an oven mitt or similar heat-resistant covering. For oven fires, keep the door shut and turn off all heat. If the fire grows, do not try to fight it. Evacuate and call 911. House fires are a dangerous threat to our families and communities. We need to take precautions to keep our homes safe, so it is important to establish a fire prevention plan of action now to help you be prepared. Make sure to follow the recommended fire safety guidelines and check with your local fire department's resources to make sure your apartment is protected and you are ready in the event of an emergency. Looking for more safety tips? 
click the link below and read more in our blog post. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more apartment living tips and industry insights.